Hey, what's up guys? Sadness here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're hopping into the demo of a game called Isle of Swaps. Now, the developer asked me to show this game off to you guys, and it seemed along the lines of something that I would play on the channel anyways. Um, I usually play games like this when I, you know, check out demos and stuff for you guys. First of all, that's loud. All right, I'm going to go ahead and read you guys the Steam page here. It says, the lunch bell rings and everyone rushes out to play the Critter Card TCG. Build your deck by swapping with those you defeat, rip open booster packs for shinies, and conquer your friends' dungeon decks as you become the Critter Champion. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to hop in and show you. Um, there's only one character you can play as in the uh, demo, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the other character designs because I think they're pretty cool. Um, I like the art style of this and I'll explain more as we go. You can see they also have a Nuzlocke mode and a randomizer mode, uh, but you can't play them in the demo, which is totally fine. And now we get to choose our starter. So this is like a like creature collector, obviously like, you know, trading card game, but it's also roguelike. So we're going to look at, hmm, I think I'm going to take Wall of Blaze, which I think I really like. I will go ahead and show you guys the, like I'll break down the cards for you. This is the card power which adds to the attack damage of the attack cards you will play. Here is the defense, which obviously decreases the amount of damage you take. Sometimes the creatures will have a special ability, like every attack, the opposite critter gains one burn, which we'll get into that later. And then it's obviously, it takes five more damage from any water attack. So we're going to go for that one. And here is the playground where we will be playing against other people. I mean, you know, NPCs, obviously, but our character's friends on the playground. It says, you're brave challenging the mighty Blaze Keep. Wouldn't you love a try an easier challenge? There's also puns in this game. But this is another thing that I like a lot about this game is that the, <laughs> the battleground is something drawn by the, uh, you know, kids in the playground which i think is pretty cool and then we gotta flip these cards over and there's going to be different things here like this is a battle here where we can it's a tougher fight but we get to swap cards with the other person we're battling or we can just go for a wild battle and we gain the critter and their skill card when we win um that actually looks pretty cool but i think we're gonna go for a swap because this is a water and we're at the lava place um, another thing you guys should know, we have two lives, we have coins here, we have our battle deck, which we get a whole binder of all our cards, and we can swap them out at any time we want, which is, I think, is pretty cool. Um, which we'll show you as we get into that. There are also stickers that you can get, which are basically like, you know, if you play any kind of game, any kind of card game like this, it'll be, you know, like Slay the Spire relics and stuff like that. So we're going to go and battle the water creature. It's going to be a little harder because we have a fire creature and obviously we're going to take more damage. But if we can get through it, I think it would be a good thing here. So we just have to try and tank this thing. And so I will break down this screen for you guys here. This is our energy bar up top. Um, each card takes, if it takes energy to use, you'll see here there's one little fire symbol, which means it takes one fire energy. Uh, you can see this one takes two energy, but one is fire and one is an energy of any type. So it could be two fires, it could be a fire and a water, anything like that. We also have our slots for our creatures. We can move them around if we want to. Oh, I only have one move, but that's fine. It doesn't matter if he's there right now. And uh, obviously they can move theirs around as well. We can play three cards per turn, three skill cards, I should say. And then we have... We can actually hold down mouse two to discard a card and draw one from the deck. I've never tried that yet, but it is something we can do. And then we also have uh, how many moves we can move them around per turn because they attack straight across. But obviously, if there's no one across, it'll just attack the front. And so if it has here, you can see at the top left corner, there's a fire symbol. That means we have to play it on a fire creature. Um, or this can be played on any creature. So you'll see I drag the card up here. We got two fire energy. 
and then we can just go ahead and attack we have two extra cards this turn i'm actually going to go for the strong attack where we lose hp because we really need to kill this guy as quickly as possible and you can see here that these are the things that the opponent is going to do they're going to attack us for six damage we're going to take 11 damage because plus five from being weak to water and then we're going to gain a soaked which means we take one hp damage so but that affects every all of my creatures if i had more so i'm gonna uh oh wait we need more energy and then i have to end the turn because we have no more cards we can play so you can see we took a lot of damage there and they are going to be doing defense and another soak, which is probably good for me because I need to kill this thing as quickly as possible. I'm going to grab energy and probably just a normal attack. And there we go. We won. So we're going to gain four coins here. And I'll show you something that I also think is really cool about this game. So here's, the, here's our rival. All right. We can swap cards. Now we can just scroll through and we can even go back if we pass something that we think we might want. So here's how this works. Let's say we want... Ooh, this is a shiny too. Cory Dusty. All right. Every three turns, all allies cure one negative status effect and they're resistant to fire. So that's something that we want because this is like the lava keep or whatever they said. So we're going to take this one and you can see here, swap value six. Okay. So that means we have to trade a value of six in order to get this card. And then I can go through, see if there's anything else we want. We don't have any water attacks for this thing. So I'm thinking, oh, I did not want that. Um, if we can get something to have a attack opposite critter. Oh, another flame tackle. That's pretty good. I think I'll take that one too. Hmm, or do I want to take wildfire? Actually, I don't want wildfire because I need nature energy for that. Gain one aqua energy and all allies heal too. That's really good. Uh, we have a couple more cards here. And these are the stickers here. Every five turns, your critters heal five. That's pretty good. Every three turns, no. And another sh uh, shiny here. Your terra critters defense. I don't have terra critters. So if I want to swap these, we start the swap here. And we can search through my deck to see what I would actually want to get rid of. And this is, it can be a little challenging to decide what you want to get rid of because I need to get rid of 11 here. You can see our swap value is zero. Swap value of your Volt cards are plus one. So these will actually give us two per, which is really good. That'll help us out a lot. Sometimes it says they want this. And that'll give you a little bonus. So I got to figure out what I want to swap. I'm going to swap Spectral as well. Oh, wait. Five card maximum. So I have to trade something that's not a regular energy. Right, you know, that's what we're going for. So we're going to swap these. We're going to swap out our Volt energy and a couple Volt cards along with a Spectral. Because I'm not planning on specking into those. There are spectral creatures that take more fire damage, so that's something that I don't necessarily want. So I will swap these. We get all the cards we want, and we can continue. And another cool thing about this game is that you can switch out your deck anytime you want. So if I didn't even want that guy, I can take it out of my deck. And I can just click all these, take them all out. Skill cards are optional here. So another thing that changes is every time you take a critter card, you need to take six skills for those critters so if i add in this you can see we need even more skills to add in so i'm going to go ahead and add in the aqua energies i'm going to add in the blaze energies we're going to go over to our fire cards and we're going to add in some blaze attacks there you go yeah two more tackles um, i'm actually going to take out a blaze energy and an aqua energy and probably a blaze attack we need four more cards so i can go for healing drink i can go for two aqua attacks and i need one more card so we can see what we actually want to take there what do i think would be more helpful aqua or blaze probably a blaze because we have more blaze cards than aqua so 
All right, there we go. I got all the cards I wanted in. And then if we click this, you can see here we get sticker slots. And all of these stickers are just active when they're in. And you can see, so we're going to have Band-Aid, which every critter heals uh, five. Or every critter heals five HP every five turns. So we're just going to save that battle deck. And what do I want to fight now? I got rid of this. And I got rid of that. So we're going to go for the Terra card. It's a fossil. A fossil is a creature? Interesting. Interesting creature. I mean, I wasn't expecting a fossil to be a thing, but maybe, uh, you know, I'm not even going to question it. It's weak to water, so we're going to start doing aqua attacks on it whenever possible. And we need blaze for you as well. And obviously you can have multiple types of stuff every time. And it's going to gain an immunity, which prevents a status effect. And it's going to deal six damage to our target here. All right, we're going to flame tackle. It's not so bad. Your creatures go to full health after every battle as well. So the flame tackle is not so bad as long as you can actually survive. And we've done it when we've captured the critter and now we have the fossil. So this is the thing about wild creatures is that when you actually take them out and capture them, you get their uh, signature skill, but you don't when you're just trading. All right, so there's a shop, which we only have four coins, so I'm not necessarily going to go for that. There are different battles than swap when we win. I mean, they're both the same, so this little firefighter like gecko thing, which I like. Chlorophyll. I actually really like that card. Every turn we gain a nature energy too, but it's so weak. It is so weak. I can't take it. I mean, I'm sure it can be powerful, but right now it's kind of definitely weak for us. All right. And here's one of my favorite parts about the whole game right here. Also, this guy, Sammy Swaps, you can give him cards that he wants and he'll give you cards that he thinks is a fair trade. We might be able to show them off later, um, but Booster Pack. This is my favorite part about the game. I have six coins. I can buy three packs or I can buy or I can buy two of these packs or one of these packs. I'm not really sure the difference. Oh, critter cards. Wait. Yeah, I really don't know the difference. Let's get this one. Oh, wait, these might be energy cards, actually. So maybe that wasn't the way to go. I don't know. Oh, and attacks. OK, so these are energy and attack cards. The other ones probably actually give you critters which is totally fine by me. Uh, this is actually really good for us. Gain one blaze and one aqua. Um, the thing about those ones are, now that I know that I'm not going to buy another one, I, I think I will save up for a different pack next time. And then obviously too, you're going to want to find a balance between swapping out cards probably and just fighting wild so you can get those signature skills of creatures that you actually want. And I probably won't be showing every single thing that happens in the game just so I can, you know, show you guys the other stuff and everything like that. So I'll just like probably skip around to the good parts so you guys can actually see. The game is really fun though. I was going to make a video on this going in like not knowing anything, but I wanted to, I felt like I needed to do it when I could explain everything better. Uh, Aguado is actually really good. And it's also like a great name. Prepare for trouble. It's Team Raccoon. Oh my gosh. Prepare for trouble or we'll turn you into rubble. Challenge Team Raccoon and you'll get crushed. So surrender your cards. Oh my lord. Okay. Good reference. Good reference. Oh, that, that's funny. Uh, I, I did not see this when I was testing, but that's super funny. The shop, I'll actually go ahead and check this out. And so you can see we can choose something from their little binder here. I don't think there's anything I necessarily want, but then we can go to the signature machine 
and all of the cr creatures that we have, we can go ahead and attack a uh, the opposite critter for power plus 10. That'd be 20 damage. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that. Then we get the signature from Clabber. Um, I think that's good. So we're going to leave the shop and we're going to go ahead and add that attack in. I think we actually just switch it out for Ram. Um, just because I would be using this with Ram anyways. So there's our big hit skill. So you can see 14 damage at, on a base attack. That's actually crazy. Yeah, here we go. Big hit. Look at that. 20 damage. That's insane. You can also do things like this, uh, which is increasing the, whatever that spot does. So every time they're there, they gain one power. Which is pretty good for them. I'm happy for them, but uh, I don't think it's going to help. We got a victory. Grab your sunblock. We're off to the aqua beach. How confident are you? I'm not sure you'll beat me. Booster machine. I love booster machines. Give me cards. We gotta hope for shinies. Because those trade really good. Two taunt. That could be decent if we really needed it. A shiny Prinley. Every three turns all allies heal 4 HP. Not bad. Let's go for one more. And another shiny print. And I'm actually going to go for one of these packs just to have energy to trade if we really need to. All right, so those will give us some tradable cards as well. Now, when I was testing this game, they really stepped it up when we got to this area. Oh my lord, that thing, this thing's insane. I should really put this on my team. See, like, these are the kind of battles that you, we just get destroyed on because... Yeah, this is not going well right now all right guys so those guys kind of destroyed me a little bit um and now that we lost the run we actually they get to take one of our cards and then if we battle them again then we can obviously swap for our critter back so you can see they took the card that we just got and we lost a life so that's basically that's the whole like kind of idea of the game i just kind of wanted to play to that point um, I was actually going to play a whole run, but I actually ran out of recording time today. But if you guys do like this game and you did want to see more, just let me know and I can do another run or so. Um, I like the game. I think it's a cool idea. I like a bunch of aspects of it, which I talked about throughout the whole video. Um, so if you guys enjoy the game, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and let me know what you thought down in the comments. Have a good day, guys.